What's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Shop 31. I got a pretty cool video to talk about tonight. We're going to talk about a very popular franchise, Friday the 13th. There is a fan film that just came out called Never Hike in the Snow, all right? It is a prequel to a film called Never Hike Alone that came out like a year or two ago, I believe. It is also a fan film. This is stuff that's on, you can find it on YouTube. I'll put links below in the description. Um, but we're going to talk about those in just a second. Before I get to that, please uh, do me a favor, like the videos. I've just come upon the information that apparently the likes are uber, uber important, and that puts us back in the algorithm and shoots us to more people that are interested in this kind of content. So I'd very much appreciate it if you'd at least like the video. Uh, don't forget, comment on the videos, and subscribe to the channel. Help us out. We're growing, and I'm giving you guys buttloads of free content. So, um, yeah, never hike in the snow. Uh I checked it out. I watched it like three different times because it's it's a short film, so it's easy to digest and it's it's easy to watch multiple times. So it's got all right. So here here's the deal. Never hike in the snow is like I said a sequel to Never Hike Alone, which is like a almost a full length feature, uh, fan made film, and I watched it as well. Okay. So man, I don't know how to begin this because I didn't know about these films until like a few days ago before Never Hike in the Snow came out. And basically that one's set three months prior to Never Hike Alone. And it's got, uh, so basically the, the thing I'm reading right here says it, it follows the strange disappearance of a guy named Mark Hill, who's a Crystal Lake resident who went for a hike in the dead of winter and he never came home, all right? And then uh, as local Wessex County Sheriff Rick Cologne and Deputy Alan Mabry search for answers, town local Tommy Jarvis, come on dude, uh, believes that his old nemesis, Jason Voorhees, is the one to blame. Uh, will Diana Hill ever see her son again? Or will her son become another lost victim of the cursed camp at Crystal Lake? All right. The movie was produced, written, and directed by Vincent DeSanti. He also plays uh, Jason Voorhees Michael, uh, in the movie. I don't know, man. I'm, I've got... Halloween on the brain and horror movies on the brain. I've been watching so much stuff lately. I can't. I keep getting things mixed up. It's actually got Vinny Guastafero uh, as Sheriff Rick Cologne, who played Rick Cologne in the sec uh, sixth installment of the franchise. Um, it's got Brian Force, Anna Campbell, Corton Gordon, and Vincent DeSanti, as I said before, who played Jason Voorhees. Everybody's been wanting to see Jason Voorhees in the snow. For years. That has been something people have been wanting for a long time. So I was very excited to check this out. All right. So the movie is only about 25 minutes long. It starts off really good. Like the, 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 the quality of this is considerably higher than I expected. All right. It's, it's way better than I thought it was going to be. The, the cinematography, the sound, the acting is just top notch for a fan made film I mean this looks like it could have come from a major studio to be quite honest with you that being said I have a couple of gripes okay one you can't get invested in anything because it's only 25 minutes long so I hear it's a teaser for a longer film being made I have no idea if that's true or not if it is then that makes me understand their end product quite a bit more if it's not true then I do wonder a lot of why they only went with 25 minutes the, like I said, the acting was good, but the, the, there was a few kills in this one, and boy howdy did they do a good job. It was really great. Like, it was really great. I liked seeing Jason come around in the snow. At one point, he uses a bow and arrow, which I wasn't too sure of at first, but upon additional viewings, I really grew to like how he did that. Gives him a little bit more uh, humanity than just some big, like, just hulking, dumbass monster that... I don't particularly feel like that's him. You know, I think he's got a little more up here than that. Maybe not a lot more, but a little more. Anyways, I thought it was a cool character thing that they did with him. The snow was really great. I liked that there was blood in the snow, but they didn't really utilize the snow like I thought they were going to. I thought that was going to be a big part of it. And here's a super, super dumb nitpick, okay? This is going to sound really stupid. But at the very beginning, when, there's, when they're in the snow, and one dude's running, right? He's like, you can hear it like, he's running from Jason, right? It's all overcast, like 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 it's almost dusk, right? And then all of a sudden, a few seconds later, it's like bright and sunny. So there's like a continuity error there, like where they just couldn't keep up with what they were doing. And maybe that had a budgetary reason. I'm not 
just crapping on these dudes. I'm, 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 I'm just saying what I saw, all right? And then the one thing that really bothered me the most from this whole entire short film, all right? This is so stupid, but it drove me nuts. They're out in the snow, right? Then how come every time anybody breathed or talked or anything, there was no breath in the air? It drove me freaking bananas. Uh, but that's just nitpicking, all right? Overall, it was fantastic, and they raised the bar for fan films. I don't know, man. This uh, It's Me Billy has got a lot to live up to, man, because... I don't know. This was good. But but Dave McRae, who's doing It's Me Billy, I, th I have faith in that dude, so... Uh, I'm going to try to get him on the show eventually. But, yeah, this was a good time. I had a lot of fun watching it. It left a lot to be desired, though, which I guess is a positive if you want to look at it like that. But I thought that it could have been a little longer. Um, I would have liked to have seen 90 minutes of this, to be honest with you. Um, I talked, I'll talk a little bit about Never Hike Alone. That one is phenomenal. I think if you put these together and watch them back to back, you're going to get 90 minutes. So you're going to get like a, a really great film. Uh, that one has great character work. It's got even better camera work the, the the fighting is really good in it i, I want to put links to both of these below i think this company's doing really good things and, I, and i'm not going to sit here and bash somebody that's putting this kind of heart and soul into something even though i had a couple of small problems with it on a scale of one to ten my grade for these two projects i'll just call them one project for the never hike alone project okay for that project my my my, my uh grade from one to ten would have to be like an eight out of ten because it's su it superseded my my expectations by a very large amount and i think that if they were to put just a little more into this this would compete with any film in the series in my opinion uh my personal opinion is an unpopular one i don't think that friday the 13th is the greatest franchise out there i think it's kind of boring uh personally i still watch it i still love it it's like telling you that i don't like or that it's like telling you that a certain Quentin Tarantino movie isn't my favorite Tarantino movie. It's still a Tarantino movie. So, on the grand scheme of things, I'd rather watch uh, any Friday the 13th movie than most movies that come out. So, just throwing that out there so you understand. I'm not trying to crap on your favorite franchise or anything. Um, I do love it, uh, just not quite as much as some people do. But this was a good time. I highly recommend you go check it out. And uh, they have raised the bar for fan-made films. So, let me know what you think in the comments below. Welcome back to Shop 31, everybody. I'm back. I'm full-time again. I'll have lots, lots, lots more content. And thank you. Special thank you to all my Patreon folks out there. I got something special brewed up for you. I have finally got my wife to commit to at least once or twice a month doing a podcast specifically for my Patreon folks. So you'll have an exclusive podcast. And we don't know what we're going to call it yet. We got a couple ideas out there. But if you got any name ideas for the podcast, it's going to be based around... Um, my curated home collection of film and her experiencing a lot of this horror stuff for the very first time. So I think you guys will enjoy it. I say you guys very loosely. You l ladies and germs out there. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed Never Hike Alone and Never Hike in the Snow, the one that just came out. Uh, they're great things. These guys are doing really great work. And then I also watched one called Friday the 13th Vengeance, which is a full feature length fan-made film that i've just discovered and i'll be doing a video on that one very very soon so keep your eyes peeled uh halloween's coming i got a special guest that i'm gonna do a show with uh my homie slasher critic we're gonna get together and do a video for you folks thank you so much have a good night enjoy your weekend have a good week have a good day have a good everything because it's been beautiful outside and you know there's too much negative in the world right now this is shop 31 i'm randall appreciate it guys peace